Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 4.9 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 4.9 is called Model Division with Regrouping. So um, basically this goes back and kind of is pretty much the exact same thing that we did earlier in our um, chapter in lesson 4.2 where we had a division problem, we drew circles, and we put the counters in each of the circles to find our answer to the division problem. The only difference is this time in our circles, just like in this picture, we are going to be using, instead of counters, we're going to be using base 10 blocks. So we'll be using ones and tens. So when we model ones and tens with drawing, we draw a long for tens and we draw a cube for ones. So here's our problem. The librarian wants to share 54 books equally among three classes. How many books will she give to each class? That's our problem. 54 divided by three. So here's our directions. And I'm just going to do it and then we'll come back and fill in. So I'm going to draw my three circles because my divisor is three. And then I'm going to need to have 54 base 10 blocks. So I can draw 54 base 10 blocks with five longs. and four cubes. That gives me 54. So first I'm going to put out my tens into my three circles. So I'm going to take this long and put it in this circle. This long, put it in this circle. This long, put it in this circle. And then I only have two more, so I don't have enough to put one in each circle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trade these longs in for cubes. Each of these longs gives me 10 cubes. So if I trade that in, I'll now have 10 extra cubes for that one. going to take me a while to draw all these, so have some patience. Okay, and then my next one, I will trade in for 10 more cubes. Okay, so now I have all these cubes that I have to put into my three circles. I'm just going to count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So now I know how many I have to put into my circles. So I'm just going to put one in each circle until I get to twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I used all of those cubes and they ended up that I could give them out equally. So now to find my answer to 54 divided by 3, I find out how many I have in the circles. So I have one long in each circle. That means I have one in the tens place. And then I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. 
So 8 in the 1's place. So the number that that makes with a 1 in the 10's place and an 8 in the 1's place is 18. So 54 divided by 3 is 18. So this lesson basically, again, is just drawing out the picture and um, just like we did in lesson 4.2, except for instead of using counters, now we are using base 10 blocks. So the um, thing that you need to remember is if there's not enough to go into all three, you may have to trade in some of your longs for ones. Or if you have higher numbers, you may have to trade in some of your hundreds flats for tens and so on. If you're in my class, I want you to write down the password candy in your planner so that I know you have watched this video. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message. Thanks.